Right, Jack here, Jack again, with a really cool little message, because it's my new deck of cards, yellow. I, I quite like this deck, they are pretty, pretty funky, check out that. But anyway, this is the tutorial for the um, Teleporter game series. I've been meaning to do this for ages, kept putting it off. But um, anyway, sit back and relax, because this is going to be a pretty long one, I, I think anyway, because... Um, there's many variations to do with this, um, you'll kind of make your own up in the end, but first of all you're just going to need the aces. So, I do like the stack, loads of different colours, it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, so once you've got all the aces, you're also going to need three clubs, if we can find it. Just find that club. There it is. So now you've got the three clubs. The order you, I usually do them in, but you could find your own little order. I always go hearts, and then diamonds, then spades, and then clubs. Then you want the three clubs there. Now, you could start it off like um, if you're just doing it to impress your friends, I do it like this, okay? But if you just kind of want it, if you wanted to add a story in, I'll show you that in the end. So, first of all, got all those cards and you just pull off one and you say right we've got the ace of hearts and you just push it over onto the deck ace of diamonds the ace of spades and the ace of clubs don't do what i did with the ace of clubs you got to spin it round just plump it on top then you recap you say right ace of clubs spades diamonds and hearts then you say right the ace of hearts is going on the bottom click your fingers and it comes to the top then you get the ace of diamonds, put it on top, do whatever, and then it comes to the bottom. Now, take this card, the ace of spades, well it's not the ace of spades, but say it's the ace of spades, put it anywhere you want in the pack. Okay, make sure the cards are face up and this card's face down. Okay, going in, like that. Then you say right, and if we just give the pack a turn, click our fingers, whatever, ace of spades comes to the top. Then you get the ace of clubs, make sure the deck's face down and this is face down. You just put it anywhere in the deck, like so, and then you just go through the deck and find that card you put in face down earlier. There it is, like so. So it's simple, effective. Hope you like it, and I'll show you the other way to do it, which is pretty cool, but not amazing. I, I just kind of do a little story type deal here. Uh, we'll use the king and the queen of clubs. Right, let's get this party started. <laughs> Hearts, diamonds, spades, clubs. Once upon a time, there was a king, <laughs> king, and a queen of clubs. They owned the biggest castle in the whole of the card world. But then the queen fell dead. Where, <laughs> where? Because she died of the plague. It was very common common um, back then. But it probably didn't help that she had a pet rat. But anyway, the, the king didn't go into mourning. Because he didn't really care. So he just went to Barbados. Fair play to him. But um, who would inherit their great castle? Well, obviously, one of their children. Um, Well, one of their boys, little boys. There was Ace of Hearts. Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Spades and the Ace of Clubs, as you can see. But which one would get that? So they agreed, right, they're going to start for a race. Ace of Clubs, Spades, Diamonds and Hearts all went for a, on the starting lineup for a race and they agreed whoever got there first would win. So the Ace of Hearts got there first and he went through the back door. But then with a click, he somehow kind of vanished out of the front door. He got kicked out and he's trying going to try to go back in again. But then the Ace of Diamond said, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to go through the front door. But then with a click, um, he got kicked out of the back door. Then the Ace of Spades, the rowdy one, decides he's going to go through a window. Um, but then he couldn't pay for the window, they asked him to, but then they threw him out of the front door. Then the smartest one, the Ace of Clubs, he went through the chimney. So there he goes, going through the chimney. He was the clever one, because... Whilst all the other races were being kicked out, like so, the Ace of Clubs was never found. So he inherited the house, but one day, when he had his back turned, they found him. As you can see. 
and nobody lived happily ever after. See you next time.